Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Have you been itching to create stunning visuals without breaking the bank? Then you're in the right place. In this video, we're going to be exploring two fantastic resources that put the power of high-quality AI image generation right at your fingertips. And the best part? You just need a Google account to get started. Now, by now, I'm sure many of you have already heard about the buzz surrounding the various Flux image generation models. They've been the pillar for image generation in the AI community, and for good reason. But today, we're taking things a step further. We're going to be focusing on two incredible tools built around these models. The Flux Redux Jupyter Notebook and the Flux ControlNet Jupyter Notebook. Think of the Flux Redux Notebook as your go-to for playing with existing images. It leverages the power of the newly released Flux Redux model to create amazing variations and even completely restyle your pictures. Want to see your photo in a different art style? Or maybe generate countless iterations of a specific concept? Redux is your friend. On the other hand, the Flux ControlNet Jupyter Notebook is all about precision. This notebook harnesses the capabilities of the Flux Dev GGUF model and those awesome control net models that Xlabs dropped a couple of months back. What does this mean for you? It means you can achieve incredibly fine-grained control over the images you generate. You can guide the AI, influencing things like pose, composition, and even specific details, all for free, right within Google Collab. A huge shout out is due here to a talented GitHub user named Lucifer Dev. They're the brains behind these fantastic notebooks, which they've generously made available on their GitHub repository for anyone to download and use. Now, let's talk about the computing environment that makes this all possible, Google Collab. With the free version, you're looking at around 15 gigabytes of VRAM and a little under 13 gigabytes of RAM, all running on AT4 GPU. It's important to keep in mind though, that Google does have a daily limit of about three hours of GPU usage on their free plan. Also, and this is crucial. Remember that once your collab session ends, all the resources you were using and any files you created during that session are permanently deleted. So, be sure to download anything important. Now, for those of you who are my awesome Patreon supporters, I've cooked up some extra goodies to make these notebooks even more powerful. I've added some really useful edits that let you integrate the Gemini API with the brand new Flash 2.0 model and even Microsoft Florence 2 directly into the notebook. This means you can automatically generate captions for your images right there in Collab, which is really handy. But that's not all. I also made a few changes to the LoRa script in both notebooks that will allow you to tap into the vast library of available LoRa's on Hugging Face and easily download and use them in either notebook. And finally, probably one of the most handy features, I've added a cell that will automatically save all your generated images directly to your Google Drive. No more worrying about losing your amazing creations if your collab session happens to crash. If you're interested in grabbing these enhanced notebooks, along with a bunch of other cool image and video generation workflows and even simple Windows installers, you can find them all over on my Patreon page. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on more awesome AI content. Alright, let's jump right into setting up these powerful notebooks. We're going to start with the Flux Redux Collab Notebook. So, the first thing you'll want to do is head over to Lucifer Dev's Flux Redux GitHub repository. Right there in the middle of the page, you'll see a Collab link. Go ahead and click on that. Once the Collab Notebook opens up, you might need to sign in with your Google account if you haven't already. Next, it's crucial to make sure your notebook is connected to that trusty T4 GPU. If it's not already selected, just click on the Connect button in the top right menu, then select Change Runtime Type, and choose the T4 GPU option from the drop-down. With that sorted, you're ready to kick things off. Go ahead and run the first couple of cells. These cells are doing some heavy lifting behind the scenes, automatically downloading all the necessary repositories, installing all the required software bits and pieces, and downloading all the pre-trained models directly into their respective folders. It's all automated so you can just sit back for a moment while it does its thing. Now, when you get to the Load Redux cell, 
this is where you get to add your creative touch. You'll need to upload at least one, and up to three images, that you want to use as your reference. Think of these as the starting point for the AI to work its magic, either enhancing them or giving them a completely new style. Based on my experience, it seems to work most reliably if you place your uploaded images inside the Totoro UI slash inputs folder within the collab file system. Sometimes, it seems to look specifically in that folder for the reference images. Now, this is where the Redux notebook gets really interesting. It allows you to create a mask around specific parts of your image. Imagine you only want to change the sky in your photo, or perhaps just the clothing of a person. The masking tool lets you precisely select those areas you want the AI to focus on during the restyling process. This gives you a much finer level of control over the final output. You can adjust the size of the mask brush to get the precision you need, and simply shade in the areas of the image you want to use as your mask during the generation process. Finally, we arrive at the last cell, where the real magic happens. Here, you'll type in the prompt describing what you want the AI to create or how you want your image to be modified. You can also adjust various image generation parameters to fine-tune the output. The collab seems to handle images up to 1024 by 1024 pixels quite comfortably, which is more than enough to generate some really high-quality visuals with Flux. The default settings that are already set up in the collab should work great as a starting point, but feel free to experiment with them to get different results. Once your images have finished generating, and you'll see a progress bar letting you know how it's going, you can find your creations in the content directory on the left-hand side folder menu in Collab. From there, you can simply right-click on any of the images you want to keep and download them directly to your computer or device. All right, let's switch gears and take a look at the Flux ControlNet Collab. You'll find the link to this notebook down in the video description. The setup process is actually quite similar to the Redux notebook, which is great. You start by running the first few cells to install all those necessary repositories, install the required dependencies, and download all the pre-trained models. Once you've run those initial cells and you arrive at the Functions cell, this is where you'll upload the image that you want to use as your reference image for the control net. Think of this image as the structural blueprint that will guide the AI's generation. The notebook comes preloaded with three different Flux control net models from the Xlabs repository, and each one is designed for a slightly different purpose. Let me give you a quick rundown of the differences. The Canny model uses edge detection to really maintain the structure and the outlines of your reference image. It's great for keeping the overall form intact. Then there's the Depth model, which, as the name suggests, preserves the 3D structure and the spatial information from your reference image by using depth maps. This is super useful if you want to maintain a sense of perspective or three-dimensionality. Finally, we have the HED, which stands for Holistically Nested Edge Detection. This model also does edge detection, but it provides more detailed and hierarchical edge information compared to the Canny model. This can be helpful for capturing finer details in the structure. So, you'll want to select the control net model that best fits what you're trying to achieve, or feel free to experiment with all three to see which one gives you the results you like best. You also get to select the strength at which you want the control net to be applied. A higher strength means the AI will more closely adhere to the structure of your reference image. Now, this collab notebook gives you both text-to-image and image-to-image -image generation options, which gives you even more flexibility to create whatever you can imagine. If you've used tools like Stable Diffusion or Comfy UI in the past, tweaking the parameters from this point onward should feel pretty familiar. The notebook includes all the classic parameter settings, allowing you to adjust things like the seed value for variation, the number of steps you want the AI to take per generation, more steps generally means higher quality but can take a bit longer, as well as the sampler setting, which affects the style of the generated image, and even the batch size, which lets you generate multiple images at once. If you're new to using these kinds of image generation tools, don't worry too much about the specifics just yet. The default settings that are already in the notebook should be perfectly fine for generating some great images to start with. Once you've got your settings dialed in, or if you're sticking with the defaults, just tap that Run button, and the image generation process will begin. Now, for those of you who are using the Patreon version of these notebooks, I've included a few extra cells that really enhance their capabilities and make saving your awesome creations a whole lot easier. 
One of those extra cells is the Save Generated Images to Google Drive cell. Simply run this cell, and Collab will ask for the necessary permissions to connect to your Google Drive. Once you grant those permissions, all your generated images will be automatically saved to a designated folder in your drive, and they'll be there even after your Collab session ends. I've also included a cell that lets you tap into the power of the Gemini Vision API, and specifically, the amazing new Flash 2.0 model, directly within the notebook. This lets you create descriptions for any image you have in Collab, or even have a conversation with the AI about its content. To use this, click on the little Secrets tab, it looks like a key icon, in the left-hand menu, then click the Gemini API Keys button. If you've already created API keys in Google AI Studio, you can just import them by clicking the Import Key from AI Studio button. If you don't have one ready, you will need to head over to Google's AI Studio and create a new API key. Once you have created the new key, either copy it and paste it in your Secrets tab or simply import the new key using the Import feature. Once you have your API key set up, simply copy the file path to your image within Collab, paste it into the designated cell, type in your prompt or question for the model, and run the cell. And finally, for those of you who love using Loris, I've added some extra code to both notebooks that will allow you to download and use virtually any Hugging Face Laura write in your Collab workflow. In the Add Custom Laura section of the Collab, just add the Laura's repository ID, which you can find on Hugging Face, along with the specific file name of the Laura you want to download. Once you have those entered, run the cell. It should download the model in just a few seconds, and you'll see it displayed in the output along with the default LoRa models that are already available. From there, simply copy the name of the LoRa exactly as it appears in the output and paste it into the LoRa name field in the image generation section. You can then adjust the strength of the LoRa's influence and start generating images with that added style or detail. So, there you have it. We've walked through setting up and using both the Flux Redux and Flux ControlNet Collab Notebooks, and as you can see, Getting started with generating high-quality AI images is easier than ever and completely free thanks to Google Collab. Whether you're looking to reimagine existing images with Redux or achieve precise control with ControlNet, these notebooks offer incredible power and versatility right at your fingertips. And for my awesome Patreon supporters, those extra features like Google Drive saving, Gemini API integration, and Laura support really take these tools to the next level. Now it's your turn. Get out there, experiment, create, and see what amazing visuals you can bring to life. Don't forget to share your creations in the comments below. I'd love to see what you come up with. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tutorials and explorations in the world of AI and tech. And as always, if you have any questions or run into any issues, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Happy creating!